Um, so Cindy comes in, and and we 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 grew we we grew in such a in such a way by the and again by the grace of God is He's the Lord of the Harvest, and the Holy Spirit was adding on daily to the church. And, and we were trying to manage it. We didn't have all the finances, the resources. My wife was seated next to me. Cindy, Mama Cindy. I know Cindy for years. She's my, my spiritual mom and elder. But she comes in and she says, Sammy, I got the word of the Lord. And I'm going, God's going to tell me buildings, debt free. There's 20 million coming my way. Oh, Lord. And I'm, I'm going like, and she goes, Sammy, I got a word for you. And my wife, I'm going like, hey, 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 come on, Lord. Yes, Lord, give it to me. <laughs> and just one word came out. She says, Sammy, this is like 2011. She goes, Sammy, the Lord says Hollywood. <laughs> I'm in my car going back home with my wife of 31 years. And I'm, I'm, with, I'm driving back and I'm going, honey, that... And she goes, she goes like, what do you think, right? The service, I go, powerful, yeah, man. She goes, what do you think about that word? And I go like, I go like, I believe it's God. She's been legitimate and on point. She's batting like a thousand in my life. So her batting average is like one point. I mean, she's just on point. But what, like, I thought, what do, I don't even like Hollywood. I'm like, I was one of the guys that preached in, in my naivete against Hollywood, and I was so myopic, I go, what does Hollywood have to do with me? I say this to say, because now it's 2021, and already produced one movie with 20th Century Fox called Breakthrough, <laughs> signed on to produce another movie with 20th Century Fox that'll come out next year, where we hired a very prominent person whose name you will, you will hear, you will know and recognize as the director, and then I'm about to sign some contracts that will lead to three other movies. Not through Christian studios, but we're talking about through secular studios. What am I telling you? This is not a kumbaya gathering. When the word of God is dropped, grab a hold of it in the name of Jesus. Because it will come to pass. And I'm here to tell you, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Whatever word and promise God has placed upon you, your family, your home, your marriage, your ministry, your career, there's not a devil in hell or a demon on earth that can stop the fulfillment of that word. I believe that. Matter of fact, I dare you to come in agreement and believe that this year will be a year where the promises of God will be fulfilled for you. How many believe this year, this 2021, will be a year of the fulfillment of God's promises for you and your children and your children's children? If you believe it, I want you to raise the roof and shout like you actually believe. I dare you to shout all of God's promises are yes and amen and amen. So walk out with that word. It works. It works. Little cool story I haven't told anyone either. I haven't even told my own church. This past week, this past week, so I'm in, I'm in a conference. I did a quick little uh, a wham, bam, thank you, Sam. Get it? <laughs> That's okay. Whatever. And so... I went into Dallas for like an hour, and, and I did a thing for TBN, for TBN and I, it lasted an hour, went back. I was back in the airport like two hours and 30 minutes after I landed. So went back, and the, a, a few days before, if I'm not mistaken, five days before, I read an article about a certain person on, on a Fox News feed who, an actor slash comedian who was blacklisted um, uh, some time ago. And I never read about this article, never read this article before. I wasn't even privy to this narrative, but it was weird because the person whose name you would recognize, I read it, right? So I read it. The moment I read it, the Holy Spirit said, I'm going to connect you, which is, I'm, I'm reading about, you know, I'm going to connect you. That was like five days before. I'm in Dallas, DFW. I'm in the airport. I arrived there from TBN, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm aiming towards my place of, of just affirmation, celebration, comfort, and joy. So I was aiming towards Starbucks, right? So I'm going, I'm going towards the Starbucks at DFW, and so I'm there in, in the C terminal, and, and so I'm going there. And all of a sudden, I arrived there, and the same person who I read about 
comes this way. We're both wearing masks. I recognize him, and I went, wait a minute. That's the guy that I just read about less than a week ago. The Holy Spirit said, I'm going to connect you. So I'm going, wait a second. No, that, and I went, yep, it's him. But then the Holy Spirit said, now do something. Talk to him. What do you think? Like, this is serendipity? Do something, right? But Sammy fought the Lord. I did. I didn't want to be that guy. So I went to Starbucks. I went like, Lord, I just, oh, you know, Señor Padre, ayúdame a ver la fuerza en este momento para yo entender lo que está pasando. Es que yo no quiero avergonzarme a mí, ni a él tampoco, ni ponerme en eh, una situación dificultosa aquí que se ponga que él diga quién tú eres, eres loco, algo así para mí. Aunque estoy loco, pero digo más loco de lo que creo que estoy loco. Eso era el punto. If you didn't get that, get the gift of interpretation today. It's a prophetic conference. If you can't get it here, forget Rosetta Stone. Throw it away. It's not going to happen. So, I'm in the Starbucks side. I I, I, the, the Spirit of God was pushing me, and I did not acquiesce, adhere, submit. So, I'm in the Starbucks line going, like, and I'm fighting in my spirit. I hear the Holy Spirit say, I told you to talk to him. 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 And told you to talk to him. And then the Holy Spirit said, I told you to talk to him. And I went like, but Lord, he already passed by. I passed, I'm here. I go, what am I going to do? Chase him down. And I hear the Lord. So help me. This is God is my witness on this sacred stage. I'm going, I'm looking in front going like, he already passed all the way down there. I'm going, Lord, you don't need, I'm not, you know, I, Lord, if you, if you give me another chance, I will. I turned around, guess who's behind me? <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't mean like two people behind me, three behind me. I mean literally the guy behind me. And I'm going, oh, Señor Padre, aquí ayúdame, Padre, ¿qué pasó? So, the Holy Spirit, this guy has been black. I'm not going to get into details, it would be embarrassing, that's unethical. But it's, it's, it's somebody whose name you recognize. And I turned around and the Holy Spirit tell me, told me, Samuel, I'm going to use you. And this, he's going to encounter me through you. He, he's going to receive me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make his second chapter better than his first chapter. I'm going to restore him in Hollywood, in the industry. So I'm, I'm, I'm the guy, right? I get my drink. I go over. We're waiting for the drink to come out. Mine was an almond latte, a grande almond latte. And I, I, I usually do that. Or a chai almond milk latte. Uh, but that's, not, that's not relevant to this. Anyway, but it was the almond latte drink. So I, I take the almond latte. He picks it up. He goes, and I, and I turn around and I did it. I look at him and I go like, hey, so-and-so. How you doing? My name is Sam Rodriguez. I'm a big fan. He goes, you know, he did a typical Hollywood response, which was, cool. <laughs> and then I said, you don't know me, but, but I produced the movie Breakthrough. His eyes popped up. He goes, dude, loved it. And he starts telling me about the movie. He goes, loved it. Oh, my goodness. He goes, that was you. Oh, wow. Wow. So he goes, and I go like, well, I'm doing another movie. And uh, I'm going to tell you, you you're not going to understand this, but five days ago, I read an article, and then here, and then I'm, and then you, and then who, and the huh. <laughs> and then he said, then it must be her. <laughs> and I go, yeah. So he said, I got to give you everything I have. He gave me his cell number, his cell number gave me all his contact. And all I'm going to tell you is, you're going to see this guy in the movie. We're about to restore him in the name of Jesus. We're about to see this guy. And I'm, I'm prophesying that millions are going to come to Jesus as Lord and Savior through the testimony of a Hollywood artist who is born again, who will be filled with the power and the Spirit of God. And God will restore him to a place that he's never been before. Because we serve the God of second chances. And we serve the God where the latter glory will be greater than the former glory.